Significant figures are people like Henry and Victoria here. But in the world of maths, they're the digits in a number that mean something. You start counting significant figures from the first digit that isn't zero. Poor zeros. So, for example, 34902 has five significant figures. The first is three, the second is four, and so on. But 0 0.014 only has two significant figures, one and four. Now this is important because you need to know how to round numbers to fewer significant figures. The basic method is exactly the same as the method for rounding to fewer decimal places, but there's also an extra rule that you sometimes need. So here's the basic method. First, find the position of the last digit. So that's where you want the last significant figure to be. Then look at the next digit along to the right. This is the decider. If the decider is five or more, then round up the last digit. But if it's four or less, leave the last digit as it is. And now here's the extra rule for significant figures. You need to fill in any gaps before the decimal point with zeros. Okay, let's run through a few examples to show you what all this means. Write the number 5.47651 to one significant figure. Okay, so the first significant figure is five and we only want one significant figure. So this is also the last digit. So I'll circle that. The decider is four and we can ignore everything else to the right. Remember, the decider tells us whether to round up or not. When it's four or less, we leave the last digit as it is. So we leave five alone. And so 5.47651 is five to one significant figure, or SF for short. Here's another one. Give 0 0.0045902 to three significant figures. Right. So this time we've got some zeros at the beginning, which we ignore. And so the first significant figure is four. So counting on to the right, the second significant figure is five and the third is nine, which makes nine the last digit we want. The decider is zero and we can ignore the two. Now, when the decider is four or less, we leave the last digit as it is. So nine stays put. And our answer is 0 0.00459. Right, last one. Round 30,895 to two significant figures. Okay, so the first significant figure is 3. And the second is 0. And so 0 is the last digit. The decider is 8. And that's 5 or more. So we round 0 up to 1. So that's easy enough. And we can also put the three in to give us our two significant figures. There they are. But that's left us with three gaps before the decimal point. So time to apply our extra rule and fill them in with zeros. And that makes our answer 31,000. Okay, so let's quickly run through the rounding method one last time. First, find the position of the last digit. Then look at the next digit to the right, the decider. If the decider is five or more, round up the last digit, but if it's four or less, leave the last digit as it is. Then if you need to, fill in any gaps before the decimal point with zeros. And remember, the first significant figure is the first digit that isn't zero. Right, thanks for staying with me through all that. Go and have a well-deserved cuppa.